Indeed, now some developing news out of Italy um, this hour and an unwelcome milestone in many ways because the number of uh, COVID-19 deaths has risen uh, by 427 to 3,405, which means that it has overtaken uh, or has overtaken China's uh, total number of deaths. Our correspondent Sally Lockwood is in Rome this evening and it is turning into quite a desperate story there, Sally. That's right, Mark. Uh, Italy now has the greatest loss of life globally, a rather huge and horrifying milestone uh, for this country. And it's made particularly more grim because Italy still has far fewer cases of COVID-19, of coronavirus, uh, than China. Now, it's in part down to Italy's older population. It has the second oldest population in the world after Japan. But it's also in part down to the pressure on the healthcare system that we are seeing in the north in Lombardy. To give you an idea of the pressure and how bad things are up there, the military was called in overnight uh, to help transport some of the bodies because the infrastructure there is simply not coping. Uh, the mayor of Bergamo, who spoke to me a few days ago, explained he'd had to close the cemetery uh, because they can no longer cope with the hundreds dying there every day. The church in the cemetery had been turned into a temporary morgue uh, and soldiers were called in uh, overnight to transport some of the coffins away in, in army vehicles. Uh, now Lombardy uh, has one of the most sophistic sophisticated healthcare systems in Europe but they are now lacking just the basics. They are lacking staff, ventilators, oxygen, beds. 8% uh, of the people who have been infected with coronavirus in Italy our medical staff. Uh, meanwhile, 60 million people in the country remain on a strict lockdown, something that was extended today. That was expected to be lifted uh, on the 3rd of April, and now it is in place uh, with no end date. We've been keeping an eye on the number of people dying in the UK and how that compares to Italy. Uh, it is following a very similar pattern. Uh, there's no guarantee that it's going to escalate in the same way here, uh, but we simply don't know. Nevertheless, the UK and other European countries are following a strikingly similar path.